thousands of people expected to pack St. Peter and Chains Cathedral for Daryl Gordon's funeral tomorrow. The funeral mass for the 29 year veteran firefighter will begin at 10 a.m. Speakers will include Fire Chief Richard Braun, Matt Alter, the local 48 union president, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley, and manager of the city of Cincinnati, Harry Black, and from the family, Daryl's nephew, John Gordon Sr. Before tomorrow's funeral services, there will be a walking procession for firefighters and family of Daryl Gordon. It begins on Central between 5th and 6th. It will travel past the firefighter memorial east on 6th and turn north on Plum to St. Peter in Chains Cathedral. Following the church service, there will be another procession to Oak Hill Cemetery in Springdale. It will begin around noon and go past Engine 9 Firehouse. That's where Oscar Armstrong was stationed. He was the last Cincinnati firefighter killed in the line of duty back in 2003. The procession will also go past Engine 2 Firehouse on Seymour Road. The burial service is expected to begin around 1 o'clock. Tomorrow's funeral procession will close several streets downtown beginning at 6 a.m. 9th Street between Central Avenue and Lynn Street will be shut down. Then at 7.30, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th streets will all be closed in various spots between Lynn Street, Elm Street and Central Avenue. Also, Central will be closed between 3rd and 9th streets and Plum Street between 6th and 9th. The roads will reopen after the procession. Daryl Gordon will be receiving a hero's tribute during tomorrow's funeral. Bagpipes will play. The honor guard will never leave his side. Gordon's body will be on his truck, engine 14. It will pass by flags across the city that will be flown at half staff. Mayor John Cranley has asked that all flags in Cincinnati be at half staff through tomorrow's funeral.